everybody. This is Kristen from Christopia Studios. Um, for those of you who have never been here, Christopia is the place I go in my head where I uh, find my little utopia, my calming place. Um, in the world we live in today, that's a good place to have. So I'm going to, I did, I did this background in a previous video as well as the track for this horse. And I showed you how to do the swipe on the horse. Now, I'm not really happy with how much blue is in this horse, but we're gonna remedy that before we start painting in details by um, putting a wash over the top of probably a silvery or white color, just kind of almost a white wash. So there's still a little bit of blue, but it's not quite so blue, you know? <laughs> so. But first, before we do that, I'm going to get a little background going on here. So I'm going to put in kind of the stones that border here. I might put a little hint of trees and detail in the background. I'm not sure. I kind of like this, but I noticed there are a few flaws in here. Now some of this is just that um, transfer paper I used easily rubbed off, but there are a few dots of paint and flaws that I would like to paint out without making it look weird. So I'm gonna be doing that today. I'm not using my fancy palette, just using this. It's got a lid. Paint will still keep in here if you keep it nice and wet for a good week before it goes bad. So I just didn't wanna go through the hassle of all the palette stuff. So what I'm doing now is just considering what I want to do to paint in the background and get some trees and bushes and maybe some distance back there. Um, or do I just want to leave it this scrubbed in green background? I kind of like that the horse stands out in this background and it's going to stand out more when I start getting details in there, but I just haven't decided yet. So anyway, I'm going to do a think about it and I'm going to get started uh, fixing some of these little, little dings and spots where the paint got smeared while it was drying and think about what I want to do up here. I will speed this video up uh, so you do not have to sit through the whole thing. Okay, so I put a little background in just to give the give the painting and background a little more depth, but I don't want to do a whole lot more because I really want the horse to be the focus of this painting. Um, I had said earlier uh, before I started getting some depth that I just when I did the swipe on the horse, it dried really a lot bluer than I wanted it to dry. I did want kind of a blue undertone in there, but I didn't want it quite that blue. So what I'm going to do is create a, a bit of a wash and a wash is just like, just like back in, you know, the olden days. Well, still people whitewash things. It's like a whitewash. It, it, 
is a white color, but the under color and undercoat shows through. So like if you whitewash the walls of a cabin, you might get, you might see that white, but you'll still see the wood grain underneath. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little white and then I'm gonna mix it with quite a good amount of water. So that I can whitewash over this and I'm going to use this to blot as well because I want the whitewash but I want those really awesome cells that look like dapples to stick around so I'm just gonna put this very thin little white you can also use your finger you don't have to use a rag to mute that blue out a little bit I'm not even planning on muting it out a lot, just a tiny bit. It looks, it's just a little too bright blue, even for an abstract sort of horse. So, and I'm doing a very thin um, layer of white. Now, the more you thin out acrylic paint, the more it's gonna break. For this particular purpose, I'm okay with that because it doesn't need to be um, opaque solid color. It just needs to mute that blue a teeny weeny bit. And there you have it, how to clean it up and do a little whitewash if your colors are too bright. Um, this was part three in the tutorial of the swiped horse. There's one more part to come and that is laying in the details, the fine details of the horse itself and any cleanup that's left. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel for more art content. Hit that little bell if you want to be notified when my next video goes up. There is also a link below to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined, as well as a link to my Facebook art page. I hope you're staying safe and that you have a great day.